Hello everyone, this is Matt and I'm here with Louise. Hello. And we've just got back from Gamescom 2019 where we saw all the new games. Uh, it was very exciting. And you've been playing something that you particularly loved. Uh, we're talking about Spirit Fair, Louise. So um, this is quite high concept. So do you want to explain to people who yeah. might not already know yes. what Spirit Fair is? So I think we'll just take this down a notch. We'll make it quite relaxing because nice. this is a cosy death management game, Matt. Cosy death management not like graveyard keeper which is a bit harsh around the edges you know it's nice so you play as stella um who is a fairy master for the dead so you have a nice boat and on that boat are up to 15 spirits who you have to sort of go around the world and collect and you kind of need to take them to their resting place so you kind of think about it in the mythology of crossing the river sticks you know the fairy man taking you across and normally that's a bit dark and a bit grisly and a bit grim because you're leaving life behind but this is lovely and there's a hug button and not everyone looks happy and there are spirits that are animals so you've got lovely stag and you've got a frog and you've got a snake and you find these individual spirits and they move into your they move into your boat and you build them a house which you can completely personalize so your boat will not look like anyone else's boat and the interesting thing here is it's kind of like stardew and it's kind of like harvest moon but you're on a boat taking people to the land of the dead. So it's, yes, it's high concept, but suddenly it all makes sense. So you're just kind of, the, the Stardew connection that I made earlier is actually quite pertinent. They've actually, the, the developers said that they've based a lot of it on the sort of idea of these farming games where you have, you can get seeds, uh, you can plant in a garden. Once you sort of put a garden on part of your boat, uh, you can catch fish off the back of your boat. So you head on over there, there's a nice little fishing mini game where you just fish off the back of your boat of the dead, which also, look at it, it's gorgeous. But there you are fishing, which is actually quite challenging. Um, and then with your fish, you can then go and cook recipes, which then sometimes the people on your, the spirits on your boat would also like. And it's just this lovely, I cannot get over how lovely this game is. And I think you don't just stay on the boat the whole time. So sometimes the spirits will ask you to go and do certain things for them. So this snake spirit that had a hood and you'd think that would be quite creepy. Still not so creepy in this. Um, asked to asked to get a necklace from her home and that's how she would potentially move on. So you've got this quite heartfelt, poignant moving on sort of forwards story momentum where you're helping people become sort of disconnected from life and letting them move on and that sounds really sad but at the same time you're planting you're fishing you're building you're doing all the lovely things you're hugging all i can think about is how does a snake wear a necklace yeah who knows i don't know maybe the, the neck the funny way but anyway however however it was it was very sweet when i got it and what's also nice is you arrived i arrived on this sort of um this jetty which had all these um there was lots of floating ghosts on this island who you can apparently sort of speak to some of them and do sort of side quests and things so you're not just stuck on your boat all the time you get onto a little dinghy and you go off and it looks like studio ghibli sort of style beautiful greens and it is it's, from it's what they're, they're famous for isn't it it's yeah, thunder lotus, lotus games so like they have a back catalogue of these beautiful sort yeah. of hand-drawn looking games uh, and I guess you get this vibe from this as well this yeah. does not look like a game about dead things no it doesn't and at no point do you ever think it's about death except you know she's sort of saying oh you've got my necklace that's great you know I feel better now we can go back to the boat and going back to the boat and then you're sort of continuing on and there's this um, there's this map screen that you can look at and there's lots of different islands on it and it's quite it just felt very there was constantly something happening so while you were on a quest somewhere you could do other things you could talk to people everybody has their own different rooms you can continue to redesign things and uh, the developers were saying that you'll probably finish it in around 30 hours but there's so many more spirits to find and things to unlock that it's up to about 100 hours so it's not just it's not just a linear experience you know you can go into this and constantly just sort of live on your boat and go to these new areas and find new things and continue to hug people but I think at some point everyone will be gone that's what I was going to ask like what's the, what's the end game here so obviously you know it's partially about the journey there yeah. and kind of that sort of thing of just enjoying the kind of day-to-day -day process of what you're doing do you have any sense of like how this is all going to end up it's going to be sad isn't yeah, it yeah it's but it is sad I already had a sad bit where I had done all these quests obviously they were compacted into something like about 15 minutes but I did all these quests for the snake spirit and she was ready to move on and this beautiful enormous spirit came overhead to take her to the sort of next level and that's what you're that's what you're there for you're there to take spirits onwards and to help them in their journey and you'll be left 
alone, I imagine. And I imagine as the, the spirits that you've got in your big houseboat, even after a hundred hours, I imagine everyone will be gone and there won't be anyone to make fish for. And I'm now making myself really sad, but it's this is going, so this is going to be the point of it. But it is cosy and sweet and compelling and I can just see myself planting endlessly in a very stardew or farm together loop. And it's it's beautiful and charming and sweet and I'm very, very excited. There you if go. you couldn't already tell that about cosy death management. Am I, am I right in thinking you can actually play it two players? Yeah. How does that work? I was playing with the developer who I was he was playing as my cat, which is a bit strange. <laughs> but it was the very fairy master of the, the dead's fairy cat. master of the dead's cat can be played in, and also what that meant it was really fun because there was kind of a mini game about lightning where you were collecting something called glims and um, sort of weather came overhead and it got all dark and then all of a sudden you were chasing lightning and if you got to where the lightning would hit on the boat then you could collect these glim things which made it much easier when the cat was bouncing around on one side of the boat and I was bouncing around on the other but yeah and also you, yes you can pat the cat important there is a hugging in, animals and, and petting the cat yeah there is an interact with animal option so yes so you can play two player and hug animals and deal with spirits and have a cat I didn't play anything at Gamescom that let me hug animals. I only played games that were about killing and death. Death. Well, <laughs> you're lost. There you go. The nicest game about death uh, that there ever will be, probably. Probably. Um, so how long are we going to have to wait? In terms of waiting, we don't have a release date as yet. Just 2020. Awesome. Thank you very much, Louise. If you've got any questions about Spirit Fairer, do pop them in the comments below. Uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed Louise being very enthusiastic about it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when our next video lands. <laughs>